everyone! So in my last video on parts of speech, we discussed verbs, and the verbs had three subcategories. The new part of speech I want to talk about today has six subcategories. So today's video is going to focus on adjectives. Typically, people like adjectives. They're one of the easier parts of speech to identify, and a lot of people do that because they're associated with nouns. Adjectives modify nouns, and nouns are one of the easiest parts of speech to identify, making it like a default people automatically like adjectives because they describe those nouns, okay? And although adjectives describe nouns, there's a more concise, um, a bit elongated definition I want you guys to recognize. So, adjectives are a word or phrase naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. Adjectives are important and we need to discuss why, okay? So we know what adjectives are, they modify or describe a noun. The reason that they are important, especially in writing, is because it helps paint the picture of what people see. People need that description. People need something to be specific, okay? Here's an example. If I say manatee as a noun, it's not really describing how that manatee is. Is it a real manatee or not? Is it a large manatee or small? We don't know. That's why we need adjectives to modify that noun manatee and to describe it, okay? So if I said the fluffy toy manatee, you guys might actually realize that I'm talking about schnoz rather than an actual manatee, which, you know, would be pretty cool, but, you know, we have schnoz, okay? We need to talk about the different subcategories of adjectives, and there are six of them. And so I'm going to go ahead and go through those and define them and give some examples. We have descriptive, quantitative, interrogative, demonstrative, distributive, and possessive. I'm going to go ahead and start with descriptive adjectives. These give you size, color, and shape of a noun. Some examples of these might be large as a size, blue as a color, or round as a shape. Quantitative adjectives discuss how much there is of something without using a specific number. Examples of this include whole, no, all, enough, or some. Go ahead and pause your screen real quick and answer this question. How can you write a sentence that uses both a descriptive and a quantitative adjective? We're going to move on and discuss two new adjectives. Interrogative has to do with questioning, so again, we're going to have those questioning words. We have words like whose, what, and which. For demonstrative, we have our common demonstrative words like this, that, these, and those. Go ahead and pause your screen for me real quick and answer this quick question. How can you write a sentence that uses both an interrogative and demonstrative adjective? Let's go ahead and discuss those last two. Distributive adjectives refer to a group as individuals. These are words like each, every, either, or neither. Possessive adjectives are used to show whose ownership is relative to a noun. Examples of these include my, mine, our, his, her, hers, their, theirs, your, and yours. And again, some of these might sound familiar because again, English is tricky. Certain words can be more than one part of speech if it's functioning as multiple parts. So that's why it's it's important to be able to identify the job of certain words and what they're doing in that sentence. Why is it there? Go ahead and pause your screen and answer this last question for me. How can you write a sentence that uses both a distributive adjective and a possessive adjective? That's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you write down those questions. Make sure you write down those answers and bring them to class and don't be afraid to learn. Bye guys rather than an actual manatee, which, you know, would be pretty cool, but, you know, we have schnapps. Toy manatee. Just a toy. Just a toy.